fuck cause I don't ride in a huge ass truck. I'm oh. Welcome everybody to the hottest show on the entire internet. It is Talking Mayhem Mania episode 900. And I am your host, your pal, your favorite, here with, um, let's see who's here. Sorg's here. Oh, hey, I'm still here. Podfather. Yes. I know. Hello. Um, <laughs> Eamon. Merlin. Hi. And uh, you can't see her off camera. My wife. She's, she's here. She's eating pizza. Big happenings. So good. We, almost had, we almost had a constitutional crisis tonight on the Mayhem show because we had to figure out how we were going to have confine a packed house into five moves. And so we just did six moves because, I mean, what, what a simple and elegant solution, Sorg. And hats off to you. So six moves tonight, a little out of the ordinary, but you know what? You know, as it always happens in Mayhem Mania, things worked out for the better. Um, I will mention very quickly before we proceed, uh, Logan Paul escaped from Space Jail, presented by Slim Jim tonight. So kudos to him. He is free and on the run once again, but uh, I will mention that still locked up is Pat McAfee, Mordecai, and Jade Cargill. Now... Very soon, perhaps by this time next week, we will have someone new in Space Jail because I'm excited to tell everyone that we have had our first, we have had not our first match. A second match has now graduated to the Super Card Sorg. I bet you can't guess which one it is. Is it? Uh, stop moving it. Thea and Nikki? Yes, <laughs> you're correct. It's Thea Hale versus Nikki Cross. Created by Roll Pal DP. So DP, you get to come back next week. You get to create a match that will uh, fill the uh, opening on our uh, quote-unquote undercard. And you will get to send someone to Space Jail. So um, exciting. I'm sure DP is very excited. I don't know if he's ever had a match graduate before, Sorg. What do you think? I don't know. He's had to have one. Surely. He's had to have one. Surely. He's been playing for a long time. Well, I'm sure he remembers if he did. Let's run down the rest of the card right now, shall we, Sword? Because we've got some real doozies on here now, don't you think? Mm -mm, the AI. You know what? When it's us versus the machines, we're going to unleash this, and the robots will give up, and they will surrender immediately when they see what we are making them make with their AI. Robert Rude versus R-Truth. Apparently, Robert Rude is good to go. Uh, <laughs> news to me. Um, hey, oh, I, hey, listen, Alex. I, I, hey, Alex. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for coming in so hot, but I'm, 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 I'm something of a journalist now, and I have an authority. That he's gonna take. Something of a journalist. <laughs> something of a journalist now. Did you go to journalism for that? I'm, you know, I'm something of a journalist myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, man. No, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Anyway, you had it on very good authority, and probably, you know what? If it were anybody else, I probably would have paused for a moment and been like, "Are you sure?" But uh, no, you know what? It's you, and you know the rules, especially when it comes to the eligibility. You go I mean, over it with me after, every single week. So. Hey, especially after you told me I couldn't put Jordan Grace in last week. Well, so that was hey. a fair ruling on my part, don't you think? She's in yeah, TNA. All right. <laughs> Anyway, this is a lovely match. Um, we'll see how it does. It's, it's got a good chance. Um, here's a match that's doing well. Cody Rhodes and his dog, Pharaoh, versus Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa versus Ava and CM Punk's dog, Larry, that created by The Riz. Uh, Rhea Ripley versus Chelsea Green, created by Katie Arquette. Julius Creed versus Bianca Belair, created by the anonymous Mayhem Mania general manager. <clears throat> Here's your um, art department special, Sorg. DIY versus Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser versus Tyler Bate and Pete Dune versus Becky Lynch and Brutus Creed versus Candice LeRae and Seth freaking Rollins versus Dexter Loomis and Indy Hartwell Created by LB. Good job, LB. Hey, thanks. Um, I just want to see Dexter Loomis and more stuff. <laughs> like, he's been gone for so long, I had to stop for a moment and be like, is he still employed? He is still employed. 
So we're good to go. He's contracted. He's, he is, he's on the Wikipedia he page. He's collecting paychecks. It's <laughs> it counts. He's in the orbit. Um Oh my goodness. I should have thought of this. I, I didn't anticipate this when I said Doc Remedy could have another move, but I should have anticipated this sword. I'm sorry <laughs> I let this happen. King Corbin versus Braun Breaker. Created by Doc Remedy. And yes, Mayhem Missy, we are holding you responsible for this as well. And finally, Rick O'Shea versus Joaquin Wild. <laughs> created by Sorgatron. LB, I will uh, I, I will take advantage of the fact that you're uh, with us tonight for episode 900. And I will just ask you for your impressions of Mayhem Mania right now thus far. It's... it's- absolutely beautiful <laughs> um if i would want i would absolutely turn in to watch this uh this particular card it's it's just phenomenal um i i really enjoy the uh the six-way tag match mm. um i think that uh, i think that would be a lot of fun um the uh ray mysterio uh john cena third person who's oh the miz the miz yeah that would be, let's be honest, it wouldn't actually be very fun to watch. But, you know, it's good that it happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> they would just kind of take turns doing their finishers on the Miz, and then they would pin him or whatever. It's got a vibe. So, That's uh, for sure. It's It does. It's got a vibe. And <laughs> um, in true Mayhem Mania fashion, there are so many people on this card whose names I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> would, would you like brought up to speed on anyone on here that – are, are you curious about anything happening here? Did, did, um, did you know that Ava is The Rock's daughter? I did not know that. Okay. She uh, is The Rock's the daughter. Yeah. Know. Yeah. That is who um, that is. I'm, so I'm, uh, something I'm curious about is um, how, why are Pat McAfee and Jade Cargill in Space Jail? Um, well, the short answer is because – wait, who put who in Space Jail? Katie Arquette put – Pat McAfee in Space Jail. Okay. Who put Jade in Space Jail? Brandon and KC put Jade in Space Jail. And Mordecai is in Space Jail because Andrew Palace put Mordecai in Space Jail. And okay. I know what you're thinking. Why did he put Mordecai in Space Jail? And my answer to that when it comes to any time we put someone in Space Jail, you can never be too careful. So <laughs> it's always important to be <laughs> proactive. I mean, if you're waiting to put Bart Gunn in space jail, Sit. next thing you know, um, he's booked in a match, and it's too goddamn late for you to put Bart Gunn in space jail. If only you had thought of this sooner. So Our research department says that uh, uh, Brandon said that Jade is not good. Brandon says Jade is not good. Um, I mean, she's, she's WWE good. Mm-hmm. She's good enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, she looked fine in the Rumble. Mm-hmm. What are we Look, waiting I'm a, for? I'm a... I'm a Jade Cargill fan, yeah. so I think um, I know, think uh, I was I was bummed to see her in Space Jail. I'm sorry about that, but you know, there's always a chance to escape. Um, Logan Paul got out tonight, was promptly I booked by her. my wife into a great match against Stone Cold Steve Austin, and then um, Alex Garz came and got rid of it. So, but that's okay. I, hey, hey, you know what? Because for the second straight week. Now, uh, this is on this has got to be unprecedented. This has definitely never happened before. Back to back double Alex Carr's rule weeks. That's crazy. So, um Jen, mm-hmm. my wife, you get to come back next week. Amen. You get to come back next week. Ooh. You want to make another move next week? Make a move. You want to phone it in? You want to zoom it in? I'll, we'll we'll we'll, we'll. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Okay. I don't want to inconvenience you too much. <laughs> Dragging you back here over and over. You're busy again. Tuesday nights. Busy Tuesday nights. Yeah. 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 Very crazy. Um, I, I, dogs. Dogs, LB. There are dogs. There are plural. So, there are plural dogs on this card. Can, can I talk about that art? Um, so what I did because yeah. it was very late. <laughs> it was very late, and I was like, I took a picture of CM Punk, and I found I found a picture of Larry the dog. Yeah. Um, and I just went to Jet GPT, and I was like, combine these photos, and that's what spit out. And like I was the like, fly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, and I, I was done with it. I was done with it. And just <laughs> it. We have pictures of Pharaoh. 
the mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. We have pictures of Larry the dog. They yes. exist. Yeah, I used and yet them. We're I using, used them. And yet we're calling upon AI to create pictures of these dogs. Because, you know, I just... I, 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 I appreciate that you anthropomorphize them. <laughs> because otherwise we're just kind of having dog fights. I mean... Uh, and LB, that would be weird. from Hellmatch. LB, I don't know how much you're. I don't know how much you're keeping up with the lore, but I would, <laughs> I would encourage you to go back and check out the episode of Talking Mayhem Mania from a few weeks ago, in which the Riz um, and Bobby FJ Town and indeed myself basically spend the entire episode torturing Sorg by making the image of Pharaoh more and more complicated as the show goes on. Yeah, what's going on in that picture again? Let the tell me what's going on in that picture again. Um, uh, well, Pharaoh's in a suit, mm-hmm. as is tradition. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got an mm-hmm. eye patch and a mm-hmm. tiny hat. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> if you look in the background, you can actually see the, the Alamo is in the background. Yeah. You can't forget that. you got to um, remember that. And, and, and a, it's crowded. The early version, you can see a comet, in the, a comet going over in the background. The night they sky they wanted the it the basement of the Alamo, and I said, no, you get the Alamo. There's also another tiny jaunty hat on one of his ears. Um, <laughs> and also, what's happening just off camera? Yeah, if you look, you can't really see because it's just off screen, out of, out of frame. But if you look, if if you could see just off frame, you would see Otis eating a steak. Mm-hmm. He's over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fantastic. That's, that's uh, LB, I'm LB, LB that I don't recommend many episodes of Talking Mayhem Mania to my friends, but I recommend that one. Gets my highest endorsement for that one, if only to see, yes, Riz and Bobby just just drag sword and they deeper kept and going. deeper into and they the kept mud. going. There's it more, so and good. I stopped. I refused. He re- eventually stopped taking requests. <laughs> he was like a band that was tired of saying, "Yeah, I can't, I can't play that. I'm not playing that. No, no, no more, no more." I was, uh, I just me in the background yelling, "No free bird, <laughs> no, no more, no more." <laughs> but wait, 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 so, 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 just one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> So good. So good. Well, it's been a long night, so we're going to we're going to leave it there. We're going to take it home. DP, we'll see you on Tuesday night to send somebody to Space Show. LB, you're a legend. Thank you for hanging out with us. Um Alex thank Cars, you, for me. you were there too. We appreciate sure, you. Thank you for having me. I want to thank my wife who's off screen, whose match didn't make it. She'll be yeah, back next week. She's slightly off screen eating a steak with Otis. Shake and bake. All right, and we thank Eamon and Merlin for hanging out with us. Woo! Woo! See you next week, you losers. Anyway, um, <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that at all. Um, I'm just having a bit of spot of fun. Sorg, thank you very much for letting me come on here for 900 glorious episodes of Talking Mayhem Mania. Uh, oh, it's been a blast. No, wait, wait. Number, but no, that's, that's not right. It's the like Wrestling it. It Mayhem like Show. It. Yeah. it feels like I've been doing this for nearly as long, which makes me wonder how long it feels to you that you've been doing this. <laughs> like, it, to me, it feels like I've been doing this forever. So I'm wondering, like, it, to you, it must feel like double forever. So, I mean, kudos to you for all that you do here for everybody. And uh, thank you, all of you, for watching. We'll see you next week for more fun. Stay May. Heavy! Cash truck, I pop a wheelie on a street bike. Yeah, this fucking dude is nuts and who we trust. The dude who bust and move it up. I've used the stuff to cruise and rush booze and blunts. Fucked up, what do you want? This my life and this my right to take advantage of the drugs I'm given to escape into a greater state of living. I'm just racing to the